Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Coco Loco here with Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are doing one of my favorite themes, which is a animal safari theme. But in this case, we are incorporating that theme into a diaper cake. Now this diaper cake is shaped like a safari Jeep. So um, it was a little challenging. This was my first time doing one of these videos, but I had a paid client that, um, and also a friend that um, kind of challenged me to make something, a diaper cake so big and extravagant. So I said, hey, why not? You know, I got time. I mean, I don't, cause I got three kids. Um, that part. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not gonna do any lessons learned. Uh, I feel like this video is a lesson in itself. Um, shout, shout out to Alina for um, giving me this challenge and let's get into the video. In this project, I realized that this is very, very flimsy. So if you guys are using a diaper caddy, you wanna get something that's a little sturdier and doesn't have such, um, I guess, flimsy sides. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do, which isn't, an extra expense is um, cut down the box the diapers came in. So this is about, I don't know, we're about the same width, but of course the diaper box is significantly taller. So I think with my leftover diapers, I'm just gonna line the bottom of this on the inside and then put this in here as like seats. And then in the front, I'm gonna cut this out so then that way we can put our lights in here because the light contraption that I had earlier wasn't working. So, let's do that. We're just gonna try to overlap the overlap the receiving blanket, maybe like an inch or two in the front, um, because we want to have this fold in for to help our um, our grill and our lights stay. So, I'm gonna overlap the receiving blanket. Wrap it up. That. Looks like it's uneven, but okay. So we're gonna overlap that like that. And I think I, f I folded this into fours, and then the first thing we're gonna do is tuck this in. Right. And so once we have. Most of that tucked in, we're gonna put our first. We're gonna put our 15, 
15 diapers in. Those are grill. Okay, so we're gonna stuff those in there, standing straight up. And then on the sides, we are gonna put our um, 13. We're gonna put our snack cups. So this is our headlight. too but anyway okay so we're gonna get these new roll bars up on this piece right so these are gonna be the bars in the back now instead of the receiving blankets and we will use the receiving blankets to cover the hood okay so that's what we're doing so I realized that I forgot to show you guys how to make the wheels so um, although I've already delivered the diaper cake, I'm gonna show you how to make the wheels um, and then we're gonna go back to the tutorial just so you guys have an understanding of how the wheels were made. So, you're gonna take one diaper and, and you're gonna roll it up, starting with the open end. Roll it up, and in the previous video, our diaper cake video, I made, um, I show you this complete process, but you're gonna make one of these center pieces right here. Then you're gonna take, use this as your base, and you're gonna take, um, depending on how big you want your diaper cake, to, your Jeep cake to be, um, you're gonna take between 10 to 15 additional diapers and roll them around this piece right here. So the Jeep that I made in the tutorial is actually about 15, um, 15 diapers. So you're just gonna take the centerpiece, put it on top of the 
um, on top of the loose diaper and you're just gonna keep doing this roll action. So one on top of the other and you keep rolling until you get all of your diapers that you've counted out situated. So let's imagine this is five diapers right here. Once I have those five diapers, I put a large rubber band around it. If you're using a regular size rubber band, then you only have to do that once, but if you're using the large, you have to do it twice. And then I will, the additional 10 diapers that I counted out, I will continue to wrap those around this round. And so once you do that, um, you should have a pretty nice size wheel. And all I'm doing is overlapping the diapers um, and trying to keep them, keep them together as good as I can. Um, you will start to notice that, especially if you don't have large hands like I do, small hands, um, that it's hard to hold on to. So I'll use a, another large rubber band to finish off the diaper, the diaper wheel, so that way, and I'm just going around um, basically overlapping the diapers like that and then going around and just making it as full as I need it to be using all the diapers that I counted out. Now once you get to the point where you have it as full as you want it to be or you have the diapers, all the counted out diapers used, um, this is where you would tie your ribbon. So you would measure out your ribbon. Um, I use a one and a half inch, or no, a two inch wired ribbon from the Dollar Tree on this diaper cake and I put it around here and I actually taped it down with duct tape instead of hot glue because the ribbon I used was burlap so it was very porous it had holes in it and so you don't want the glue any hot glue to get on your diapers um, especially if you're if this is a gift that the mommy to be is taking home so you would either use hot glue if you're reusing and repurposing these diapers but if these diapers are going to be used on a baby, you don't want to get hot glue on the diapers. So I would um, duct tape the first set of ribbon around here, and then the ribbon on top can be hot glued down. Um, so I think I had, yeah, I had this size uh, ribbon. So this was a two inch uh, green wire ribbon. And then the ribbon on top was an animal print and it was just one inch. So you always want to pick your base ribbon to be at least an inch or two bigger than your center ribbon. So um, if you're using two inch, uh, then you would put a one inch on top of that. If you're using three inch, then you would put a two inch on top of that and so forth. So uh, I made the wheels and then when I got to the axle part, I just pushed out the center piece right here. Um, and then I put the axle, I covered the axle with a sock and then put the axle in here. So you'll see that in the tutorial, but um, let's get back to it.
we did with the other other ones. I'm just gonna add this buddy through here. And you know, if this was ribbon, it would connect all the way through, um, but it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble this buddy together by looping the buddy through here. Taking that, take this, and we're gonna clip this onto its bottom, like that. Okay, and then this way we can. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there. So we have that. We're gonna clip this to the back of the box. Like so don't press too hard down, just get it on there. And then we have our little slot buddy. All good to go. So there you have it. He's hanging upside down, and hopefully, mommy will be happy with that. Subscribe now. Mm -hmm.